Good evening. I'm sure you're like me and you want to hear the next part of Daniel, because I don't know when we'll be, oh I suppose, knowing me, I'll try and find the rest of it and read it because it's uh, intriguing, isn't it? So this is the last reading, the last week in Ordinary Time, Year One, Saturday. So this would have been um, for this morning, but this evening would be tomorrow's reading. So people who went to church today would have heard the second reading of the psalm and the gospel but Daniel I think I got it I got it wrong I must have been reading the wrong week but it does say the last week so I must be in the wrong year but it says year one uh, anyway I've liked reading Daniel so I'm going to read from the prophet Daniel chapter 7 and then I'm going to read a continuation of Daniel 3 and the psalm saying give glory and eternal praise to him and the gospel of Luke chapter 21 34 to 36 and I'll have a quick look over yeah next week is the goes to the ordinary time if we were still but we're not we're and that that will be in year two will be Samuel. So that will be in the new year. So in the new year you'll be hearing me read Samuel and whatever else follows. So in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit. A reading from the prophet Daniel chapter 7 verse 15 to 27. I, Daniel, was, dis was deeply disturbed and the visions that passed through my head alarmed me. So I approached one of those who were standing by and asked him to tell me the truth about all this. And in reply, he revealed to me what these things meant. These four great beasts are four kings who will rise from the earth. Those who are granted sovereignty are the saints of the Most High, and the kingdom will be theirs forever, forever and ever. Then I asked to know the truth about the fourth beast, different from all the rest, very terrifying, with iron teeth, and bronze claws, eating, crushing, and trampling underfoot what remained, and the truth about the ten horns on its head, and why the other horns sprouted, and the three original horns fell, and why this horn had eyes, and a mouth that was full of boasts and why it made a greater show than the other horns. This was the horn I had watched making war on the saints and proving the stronger until the coming of the one of great age who gave judgment in favour of the saints of the Most High when the time came for the saints to take over the kingdom, this is what he said. The fourth beast is to be a fourth kingdom on earth, different from all the other kingdoms. It will devour the whole earth, trample it underfoot and crush it as for the ten horns, from this kingdom will rise ten kings, and another after them. This one will be different from the previous ones, and will bring down three kings. He is going to speak words against the Most High, 
and harass the saints of the Most High. He will consider changing seasons and the law, and the saints will be put into his power for a time, two times and a half time. But a court will be held and his power will be stripped from him, consumed and utterly destroyed, and sovereignty and kingship and the splendours of all the kingdoms under heaven will be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty and every empire will serve and obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sons of men, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Israel, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Priests, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Spirits and souls of the virtuous, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Devout and humble-hearted men, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Stay awake and stand ready because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 21, verse 34 to 36. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be coarsened with debauchery and drunkenness and the cares of life. And that day will be sprung on you suddenly like a trap for it will come down on every living man on the face of the earth stay awake praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen and to stand with confidence before the son of man the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for listening. Be blessed. Have a peaceful night and a blessed and holy, happy weekend. I'll be reading Apocalypse very shortly. And I'll look to see what the Advent readings will be. I might, if they've got one for the vigil, I might find it. Bye-bye.